Welcome to The Three Show, everyone. Vinny Paraselli here once again to break down the latest in the NA3HL. Tomorrow is the first day of March, which means the playoffs are right around the corner. We've got two weekends of hockey left until the quest for the Fraser Cup begins. We're going to take a look ahead to the playoffs in just a bit, but first, we've got plenty of advancement taking place around the league. First up, we've got Marcus Cook of the Binghamton Junior Senators. He has signed a tender with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights. He's in his first NA3HL season, and in 42 games, he has scored 35 goals and added 46 assists to give himself 81 points on the year. Those 81 points rank fourth on Binghamton. Damon Dodge of the Granite City Lumberjacks has signed a tender with the Kenai River Brown Bears of the North American Hockey League. Dodge has played in 13 games this season for the Jacks and has 13 points in those games. The Sauk Rapids native is finishing up his high school season and is expected to rejoin the Lumberjacks as they prepare for the playoffs. Joe Dockin of the Alexandria Blizzard has also signed an NAHL tender. His is with the Brookings Blizzard. In 40 games this year, Dockin has 14 goals and 27 points. He has been hot as of late with 10 points in his last 6 games as he looks to get Alexandria into the Fraser Cup playoffs. In other advancement news, St. Louis Junior Blues goaltender Jack Reagan is getting a chance to suit up with the Central Illinois Flying Aces of the USHL. In 9 games with St. Louis, Reagan is 5-3 with a 2-7-1 goals against average and a 9-14 save percentage. A Great Falls Americans forward has made college hockey plans. Jens Juliusson will be playing at Maryville University. The Alaska native has 20 goals and 79 points in 43 games this year. He was selected for the NA3HL Top Prospects Tournament last week and had one assist in three games. Juliusson is the Great Falls Americans franchise leader in assists with 88. History could be made this weekend when the Missoula Junior Bruins take the ice. Misha Katnoff needs just one point to become the NA3HL's all-time points leader. He is currently tied at 247 career points with former North Iowa Bulls forward Matt Kroska. But that's not all. Akatinov can also break the single season goals record if he can get two goals in his final three games. The current record is 61, set by Brandon Corey during the 2016-17 season. Eric Melso of the Binghamton Junior Senators has committed to Morrisville State. The 21-year-old forward has 35 goals and 99 points this season. In his 88 career games, Melso has 70 goals and 178 points. Coleman Vardy of the Gillette Wild has announced his commitment to Lindenwood University. Coleman is second on the team in points with 74. His 31 goals are also good for second. He has 99 career points in 93 games. Now looking at the playoff picture, the LA Nordiques will be your number one overall seed in the Fraser Cup playoffs thanks to a Texas loss on Tuesday that clinched the top spot for the Coastal Division regular season champ. Speaking of Texas, they clinched the South Division regular season title for the third straight season. They made it to the Fraser Cup group stage last year but were eliminated there. And out west, the Granite City Lumberjacks are the West Division regular season champs for the fourth season in a row. They'll be looking for their fourth Frazier Cup title. Coming up this weekend, we've got a huge game in Helena between the Americans and Bighorns. If Great Falls wins, which would be their 17th win in a row, they would clinch the Frontier Division regular season championship and home ice throughout the playoffs. But if Helena wins, they would be in the driver's seat needing just to win their last two games to win the division. Regular season games can't get any bigger than this. We've got another Granite City North Iowa matchup pegged for Friday night. The top two teams in the West Division will battle for what could be a West Division final in a few weeks, unless Rochester has something to say about it. The Lumberjacks have owned the series so far this season, winning the previous five games. North Iowa will be looking for a win to get them some confidence after being swept last weekend by Rochester. And finally, our last potential division final preview, we've got Louisiana and Texas. The Brahmas have had a busy week, already playing twice against the Junior Stars, going 1-0-1 in those games. Louisiana will be looking to get a good test in before their first playoff appearance. A lot happening in the NA3HL this week, and we've only got two weekends of hockey left. Six playoff spots are still up for grabs around the league. A few of them may be claimed over the next few days. Join us next week as we take a look at all the brackets and preview the final weekend of the regular season. Thanks for joining us on The Three Show. I'm Vinny Paraselli. See you all next week.